Hey guys, thank you for joining me today. Uh, this video will be a very short one. We are going to see how to configure a dynamic DNS or DDNS in Unify, in, in this case, in my UDM Pro. Now, this is a really short topic, so I decided to uh, uh, skip the intros and all this fancy stuff and jump right in. Uh, this will probably go into my Quick Tech 5 uh, playlist because it will be a really short topic. In a few words, what is Dynamic DNS or DDNS? It's a way for you, even if you don't have a static IP address, when configured correctly, you can have a, a service that will translate your IP address, even as it changes, to a static host name or a, a FQDN that is publicly available. So a few prerequisites. You will need to have a public or legal IP address from your ISP. I know that a lot of people have a, a sort of a netted address uh, when they connect to the, uh, to the internet. This will not work in this case. You need to have a public IP address, even if it's not static. And then you can uh, uh, sign up for a few services online. Mine, for example, is a, a, a Dyne DNS by Oracle but there are a lot of other uh, vendors out there. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, but the end result will you, is you having a username and password for the service. And then all you have to do is to punch those in along with the FQDN you received, and then your uh, uh, UDM Pro or your other Unify uh, uh, gateway will have a way to translate or to give the service your public IP and get and register the FQDN. And then you can, of course, VPN into your network using this FQDN, because otherwise, if you have a DHCP assigned address, your address will constantly change and you and connecting from the outside is practically impossible. Enough talking, let's jump right in to our UDM. We will be doing everything in the new interface because that's where uh, uh, Ubiquiti wants us to be. This is where we'll do it. In order to configure it, we will have to go into the advanced features. We will scroll down to advanced gateway settings, scrolling down and you can see that I already configured my uh, dynamic DNS entry. I will delete it and re-enter it with you guys. All right, so we will create a new dynamic DNS. The interface will be when or when to, uh, your mileage may, may vary. Service, for me, it's Dyn DNS. I'm gonna enter in my host name that I have chosen from my vendor. And username and password. Now, unless told otherwise, this field server should remain blank. We will click on apply changes. Now, there is, uh, there is no indication in the, in the interface that something went wrong or everything is okay. I think that it's not really all that clear. So what you can do in order to, uh, 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 in order to maybe uh, do a little sanity check is to first of all, uh, in a computer inside your network, you can you should wait about 15 minutes to let the the, the, the global DNS uh, servers to do their thing, and then you can just ping your uh, uh, FQDN, and if you get well. I'm getting a reply because I'm inside my network, but if you're testing it from outside, you shouldn't get a reply. And the reply should come back with a, a public IP address that is given to you by your ISP. So, uh, 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 this is how you configure Dynamic DNS in Unify. Uh, uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It will really help the channel. And join our Facebook group. All you have to do is search for Ubiquity Unify User Group Dash Worldwide and join us there. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.